Hey guys, it's Monday, August 16th, 2010. This morning when I was thinking about this video, I was going to say something about how it hasn't been that hot this summer, like not as hot as it normally is. And then it got up to 103 while I was outside running errands, and so I changed my mind. It's hot. Right, but really it has not been as hot as it usually is like usually it's up towards 110 a lot in the summer and I don't know if it's just because I missed like most of July because I was in LA and San Diego and then sick or if it's just I think we are having a cooler summer they have mentioned that before for LA so it's weird anyway hi last week was uh work yeah uh, school started on Monday and then I ended up working Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday um, in two different classes and, uh, so yeah, I was not expecting to work so much so soon, but I did not work today. And I actually, I was out running errands, and I noticed that my phone was silent, and I noticed that the district had called me, and so they were probably gonna give me work tomorrow, and I missed the call, so hopefully I get called again tomorrow. I'm like, oh no, and I called back, but she didn't answer, so. We'll see. Um, what else did I do last week? I went to the dentist, <laughs> got my teeth cleaned, I took my car to the shop, and got it all maintained and whatnot. Um... Friday after work, I went down to LA to hang out with Elena, and we got Chipotle, which was delicious. And then um, we went and saw The Kids Are All Right on um, the lot where Elena works, and that was a good movie. And Mark Ruffalo was very good looking. Yeah, and then Elena showed me around the lot a little bit, and it was dark and kind of creepy. <laughs> but it was fun, because I love back lots. I spent the night at Elena's Friday night, and then Saturday... We went and did a guerrilla improv mission thing. They were working with um, these guys called the Wise Guys events, and they do, like, team building stuff. And um, so together they were doing a MP3 experiment, which if you've ever watched Improv Everywhere, the New York group, they've done some of those, but they never did one out here in L.A. So this was the first L.A. one, and we did it, and it was really fun. We all wore yellow shirts, and we did weird things, and then we ran across the beach, and it was very, very tiring, and I, like, died seriously died um yeah and I made a video about all of that so you should go watch that video if you want to see some of what we did it was really fun after that we hung out at the bar for the debriefing and to just chat with people because it's people we've saw hung out with before so that was really fun and then we went to find the old LA zoo it's in Griffith Park and it's where the zoo used to be before they built the the one that is there now and so like it was built in like the 20s or something and um it's got little cages and stuff and yeah everyone says it's so impossible to like find like all the directions online are like park in this parking lot and then good luck seriously that's what they say that's what everyone says and i'm like okay so we thought it was gonna be like climbing through woods and like seriously difficult to find but we just like walked up this paved road and we found it and then there was like this little fork in the road and one way was dirt and then one way was paved, and then there was the Shakespeare in the Park stuff on that side. And so we didn't even walk down the paved part because we're like, oh, there's no way it's, anything's down there because that's too obvious. And they said it's hard to find. So we're like going up the dirt, and there are cages up there too, but they're not the ones that I was actually looking for. And of course, the ones I was looking for were down that paved road that we thought was too easy. But um, yeah, so we ended up finding all the stuff that we wanted to find. And it was really fun. We took a bunch of pictures. And uh, we want to go back in our zombie outfits and, like, take pictures of us in the cages as zombies or something. Because it's a cool place. And, like, other people are like, oh, I want to go there. So we'll probably take people back there now that we know where it is. And it's not hard to get to. I mean, we had to hike up a hill. And that was tiring after running across the beach in the morning. But yeah, it was it was easy easier to get to than we thought it was going to be. And uh, yeah, so that's fun. We like adventures and exploring things. And um, then I came home, and yesterday was Sunday, and just did stuff here, laundry. And then I didn't work today, but I had to go get my car washed because when I was parked by Elena's apartment, I was under a tree and they got sap all over it. And so I wanted to wash that off, so I got my car washed, and then I met up with my mom for lunch. And then I went and took a huge thing of change to a coin star machine in our grocery store and dumped it all in because I had I had this water bottle thing full of change and I also had this elephant piggy bank full of change this was actually full of quarters yeah um so I dumped it all in the bag and I took it and I ended up getting $228 which is awesome 
Um, I would have gotten more if I had chosen to like roll it myself and take it to the bank, or if I'd even chosen to get a gift card. But I'm the worst at spending gift cards. Like I still carry gift cards that I've had for years because I never remember to use them, or I don't go to the stores that they're for, or whatever. So I was like, take your cut. I want the cash. So yeah, I got oh, cash. I'm like excited because I am so broke right now. I need to pay my credit card bills. So I wanted to go dump all my change so that I would have cash without having to actually go withdraw money from my account. That was the master plan. And it worked, because now I have cash again. Yay! So that was my exciting day. I got money! I don't have anything else for you today. Have a good week, everyone. Elena, I will see you on Wednesday, and Sarah, I'll see you on Friday. Okay, bye!